Hey guys, welcome back to Aloe and Clover. So today what we're going to be talking about is a parent review. And we are parent reviewing the Radio Flyer bike and the Radio Flyer wagon. I'm really excited to share this information with you because we love Radio Flyer products. This is not an ad. We are not getting paid for this. Um, so I just wanted to be able to share with you the things that we like about specifically the Radio Flyer tricycle, um, four in one tricycle and the Radio Flyer and the Radio Flyer wagon. So we'll be reviewing that today with you guys. So before we get started, if I could just ask for one little favor, if you are watching it up to this point and you haven't already subscribed, please do so below. I'd really appreciate the support. It helps us to provide more quality content here on YouTube and it also helps to support our creative outlet. Um, the other thing that I would love for you to do is make sure that you hit the bell because then you will be able to get notifications when I do go live or when I do post new videos. And when do we post new videos? Tuesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So without further ado, here we go. All right guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna get into is the Radio Flyer bike, or specifically the four-in-one tricycle. And I'm gonna talk about the cons first, just because there's not very many of them. I just want to kind of point out to you the things that we would change, but they're not necessarily wrong or not necessarily broken or not working. It's just more of a preference thing. So the cons for us were the plastic wheels. I would have preferred they were like an actual tire. They make a lot of noise and um, they get all scratched up and that kind of thing. So it's again, not a huge deal, but just something that I would personally change. The shoulder straps do fall off. So I was hoping that they'd be a little bit thicker. Um, they are kind of narrow on the bike. And if you have a smaller kid, then um, you know they can slip off their shoulders and that sort of thing so one tip that I had heard someone give me was to actually take the straps and crisscross them so that they would stay better on your kid so just a little tip there if you do purchase this and you're having that trouble with the with the straps as well the other thing that I would say I would like to see it improved, but again, it's not wrong and it's not broken, is the steering, the parent steering on top is a little bit slow to react. So like when I try and turn it to the left because my son's gone far right and he's going to go right into the middle of the street, it is a little bit slow to react. So that's one of the things that I would change. So one of the other cons with the steering wheel, it has a foam on it for your handles for comfort reasons, which that part is actually nice. However, the con of it is it doesn't really hold up very well. Um, ours kind, ours actually ripped, I think, within like a couple weeks. Um, granted, we are a little bit rougher or harder on our toys and items. Um, but it just seemed to kind of fall apart pretty quickly. So that's the only other thing that I would say about a con. So there they are. That's it. The features of this particular radio flyer bike are the compartment. So there's like a little compartment um, underneath that's like a trunk. And my son loves to throw rocks and sticks and leaves and all sorts of things in there. So it's like his collector's treasure trove. Uh, so he loves doing that. So that's definitely a pro. The other thing that I would say is the removable footrest. So it first starts off with a footrest for kids that aren't quite long enough to pedal yet and are not quite strong enough to push the pedals. And you can remove that as they grow, which is awesome because you get way more time out of that. And if you're a parent, you know how expensive kid toys are. So definitely a pro in my book. 
cup holder. So the cup holder I thought was extremely helpful because then you can put their drink in especially on a hot summer day like we're having right now uh, you can definitely put their drink in there and then you don't have to worry about them staying hydrated removable parts so pretty much everything on it that you would want to remove is removable so there's a canopy that you can remove if you don't think your kid needs it um, we chose to leave it on because we like to protect him when he's riding um, with the canopy because he has my light skin and my husband's light skin. So there is a tray. So kind of going back to the footrest thing, there's also a tray uh, that your kid can put food, put little like toys on. And that kind of thing if they're not again quite big enough to make it a physical activity for them and it's very versatile you can engage or disengage the foot pedals so after you take off the foot pedal rest there's a kind of a middle stage where you can allow the pedals to be stationary instead of move um, as the kid would push it and that's again for children who don't quite need the foot rest but are not quite strong enough or long enough to actually push the pedals yet so i really like that and it's a little button that you just push in and push out to engage or disengage it obviously the pro to the con that i had already talked about earlier is you as the parent can control the steering wheel so that is a really nice feature, especially if you have a young kid who hasn't quite grasped the rules of the road, so to speak. And I really love that feature. I think more of the obvious things are it's a great color. You know, it's easy to clean. You just can rinse it down if it gets muddy or dirty. And the other pro of this, which I thought was really realistic to a typical bike, is that you can pedal backwards so that's also a nice feature okay guys so now we're going to get into the wagon so again i'm going to start with the cons nothing necessarily like broken or can't be fixed type thing but just like little things that we'd love to see improved with future versions so the wagon is really heavy it's very bulky um and then once you put your kid in or two kids in and then you put in other items like a cooler or chairs whatever um, it gets really heavy so that is one of the things that i would say is a con but that's just my personal preference it doesn't make it unusable it's just a personal thing the other thing i would say is our particular version, because there's many versions of this three-in-one wagon, ours has the extra storage compartment in front of it. You can get like a, a tail hitch um, and stuff like that, but we decided to do the storage bin. It's made out of a heavy canvas, but I personally feel like it's very flimsy once you start putting some like pretty decent weight in it. And it's, I mean, it's a good size storage bin so you could technically put quite a bit in there um so that's one of the things that i think is a little bit of a downside and then the only other thing that i would mention about this is the plastic caps on the wheels again not something that makes it unusable but if you were to bump it into something you could shatter the cap pretty easily um, i don't know if that would really affect the ability to use it but just something that more has to deal with quality of materials used. So that's it for that. And let's move right into pros. So the pros on this, I definitely feel outweigh any cons. It seats two kids very comfortably. My son fits in it very nicely and there is a canopy on our particular version so it kind of snaps in and it is easily removable so if you have high winds or if your kid just doesn't want it on 
you can very easily take it off and then push the buttons in and then push the poles down. So that's a really nice feature and the poles are integrated into the wagon so they don't get lost and they're not gonna get broken very easily and those sorts of things. So on the wagon, there's lots of pockets, lots of like different ways to store things. So that's definitely a good thing. I love that feature of it. It has a magnet handle. So once you let go of the handle, if it's kind of like midway, instead of crashing to the ground and you're potentially gonna destroy the handle, it actually will pull it right into the wagon because it has a magnetic feature, which is really cool. Uh, the other thing about this wagon that really appealed to me and my husband was the versatility of it. So yes, it is marketed as a child's wagon. However, you could very easily use this just for storage. So if you're going to the beach with your friends, um, with your family, you can store your coolers, your chairs, your beach tents you can store, or if you're going to the park for a picnic, your picnic basket, um, camp chairs, tablecloth, whatever. So those are definitely things that appeal to us because we do do all of those things. Um, so that's something that we really liked. As a mom, moms out there, you're going to love this feature. Are you ready? So DuraClean fabric cleans super, super easily. Um, you just spray it off, let it dry and you're good to go. But that is definitely one of my favorite features about it is that you can keep it clean and you don't have to worry about like big old stains and things like that. So that's definitely a plus. The other thing that I really liked about this, again, this is probably more my, myself as a mom, but uh, UV protection. So the canopy, um, going back to the canopy, if you weren't following me, <laughs> mom brain, uh, the canopy has UV protection, which is really nice because if you are especially sensitive to the, to the sun, have light skin or just sensitive because of whatever reason or your kid is, um, I should say your kid, cause you're not going to be riding in this. I assure you, uh, the weight limit is not going to be enough for an adult. It does have UV protection, which is really nice as well. Especially if you've had a long day on the beach or in the park, you know, it's just an added feature, which I really liked. The other thing that I liked about this was it had an adjustable handle. So you could make it a little bit shorter, a little bit longer. Personally, my preference is to have it even a little bit longer than it was. Um, but again, nothing serious. It was just more what I would prefer. The last thing I want to talk about is probably one of my favorite features. So you've heard me talk about the park, the beach, the road. These are on this particular version. Again, you can get it with the tires that are just for the road. Um, but this particular version is the all terrain wheels. So just like it sounds, it works on the beach, it works in the park, works on the road. So you can take it wherever you want. And that to me was well worth the extra. I think we paid an extra $40 or $50 for the all terrain tires. So definitely something to keep in mind. If that's not your thing or you don't really care about that because you only really take it on the road, there is a cheaper version of this, a $90 version ish, depending on where you're located that you can definitely take advantage of. And it has most of the features or a slight variation of the features that I've been speaking about tonight, today, today. And what I'll do is I'll link the three in one version of this in the description so that you can take a look. It's not an affiliate link. It's just me being a mom and wanting to save you a couple bucks. So I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel, like comment and share, and also hit the bell so that you can get notified when we do post new videos. And like I had said before, we post new videos Tuesdays and at 9am Eastern standard time.